Okay, hello. Um, I ask myself, what happens with the old data on a storage device like a USB key or the disk? What happens with this data if I reuse the device and apply full disk encryption? Uh, so, what do you do? You try, yes? So I take a USB stick and I completely wiped it because I don't like to interfere with old data. Afterwards, I connect it to the Windows machine. You see what do Windows like to do? Okay, I, it like to format the disk. So, okay, I let all the default settings. I just switch uh, from MTFS, uh, from FAT32 to NTFS. That's the only change. Everything else is default. Um, and then I put data on it. As you see in this picture, I put five gigabyte, more or less, on the eight gigabyte USB key. How do the data look? They should look simple, because I like to see if I can refine something back. So I create 100 small files of 80, uh, 48 byte, and 100 large files of 48 megabyte. If you know NTFS, you have an idea why I take two different sizes. I put content in the small file, my small secret message, one, two, three, four, five, and so on. And I put the same content one million times in the big file. And as a third, uh, I put the same message simply in the sector 11. So in the space which is between the master boot record and the start of the partition somewhere. Okay. So I have a disk with data and TFS. Let's see what happened. So I take the same stick connected to my Linux station and create a new master boot record with a partition table. And I activate full disk encryption with the command line crypt setup. And I create a file system on the partition. So afterwards I can mount the partition the USB stick, I create a little file, put it on, save it on the, on, onto the stick, and unmount it. And I start my forensic investigation. So what you do first when you do forensic, you create a working image. So I make a copy. That's advantage because now I don't need to <laughs> wear the USB key, USB key with me everywhere. Uh, and the second step, I review the partition table. So yes, there's the partition table, and then I analyze the master boot record. So in the master boot record, at the end of the 512 bytes, you see the partition table, but on the top, on the beginning, you still see artifacts from the NTFS file system. So the master boot record is not totally overwritten. Uh, so what next? What about my message I write in sector 11? Oh, my small secret is still there in sector 11. So the space between the master boot record and the beginning of the partition is not overwritten. Okay, then I jump down, scroll down to the beginning of the partition, and you see the header of the LUX file system, or LUX file system, uh, encrypted uh, partition. And I scroll down to the data, where the data begins. On the top of the slide, you see the data, so they are full encrypted. Nothing can be recovered. And then I scroll down round about 52 megabyte. And now look what we have here. <laughs> my, sm oops. <laughs> my small secret message is still on the disk. And this is for the rest of the, which comes after the 52 megabyte. Nothing is encrypted. So the conclusion. Full disk encryption is maybe the wrong term. It should maybe be named uh, partition encryption. And you need to wipe the disk before you apply full disk encryption, because otherwise the old data stay there in plain text. That's all.